So this was a fun project, fixing an original Yuri 1178 compressor for a friend. The 1178 was the stereo version of the famous 1176 peak limiter, and therefore would make an impressive bus compressor for any studio's collection. This original was an exciting find for my friend, but unfortunately it had some serious problems. First and foremost, this was the only sound it made. <laughs> A sound like this is a strong indication that something is up with the power supply, but like I told my friend, the only way to know for sure would be to bring it in and open it up. I always like to take a picture or two before I open anything, and then a few of the inside before I touch anything. So with the help of my mentor Tyler, we got it open on the bench and looked at the schematic for the power supply, specifically looking to see if it was supplying the correct voltage out of the power supply to the rest of the circuit, in this case, plus and minus 18 volts. I almost want to say from the sound that we were hearing, it's possible that one of the voltage regulators is, is blown. So we turned it on to check for plus and minus 18. If these are accurate, it means everything here is correct. Right. If these are wrong, then we're going to go back. Once we started investigating, we discovered that one leg of the voltage was wrong, and on the other, there was nothing. So we checked everything else and eventually worked our way back to the transformer and determined that that's where the problem had to be. We double checked that it was wired up correctly and accurately to the schematic. And it was. So the next move was to test the transformer itself, which according to the wire colors listed on the schematic was behaving like it was broken. A few days later, as I was laying in bed, I realized that if the colors had been labeled incorrectly on the schematic, then that would have caused the measurements we saw during testing, and the transformer might be just fine. So we took another look at the transformer, checking the wires in opposite pairs to what the schematic had shown. And it turned out that the only thing broken was the labeling on the schematic. The transformer was actually fine. Since it had been wired in wrong and was supplying the wrong voltage, one of the voltage regulators had indeed fried, which confirmed Tyler's original theory about why it was making that terrible noise. There was some damage to the circuit board around the voltage regulator from it dissipating excessive heat, but with a little effort, I was able to get a new one soldered in. And then, after making the necessary updates to the schematic, we were ready to test it again and prove that it works like a compressor should. And now it's back in my friend's studio, leveling out mixes and impressing his friends.